Jackie, Jared. Hey, congratulations for Don. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was, uh, yeah. Good to, good to have it coming out soon. Exciting. Yeah, it, it is very exciting. But this, this is a, I want to say this, this falls under the horror genre, but both of you are no strangers to this genre at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> We've actually <laughs> done a horror movie together. You, you did one yeah. movie together? We did this film called Pernicious together. We didn't have any scenes together, but uh, Jared was actually in another movie that was in the horror genre called Pernicious. And we filmed that in Thailand actually. And Jared played one of the character's boyfriends. So he was, he filmed everything on, on Zoom. Oh, wow. Yeah. But coincidentally, that's where I'm from. You're from Thailand? Yes. Really? Really? Yeah. So, uh, yes, yes. I, I was born in Thailand. So that coincidentally, I also saw that movie too. So <laughs> you did? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that's that's where a bunch of girls were staying in this uh, house in the countryside of Thailand. Yeah. Well, let me just say that Thailand was my favorite country to visit ever i absolutely love it there i love the people and the culture and i would love to go back so it's so cool to hear you you were born there wow most excellent well maybe, maybe you can announce a, a sequel to that movie or something <laughs> we just were, we were just talking about that in another interview it's so funny we, we love it <laughs> i'm in i'm in <laughs> we're attached he could do it from, he could do it from zoom in sherman oak somewhere yeah. No, I want. I want. I want to. I want to get. I want to fight some like demons or you know be try to be a, a badass. Yeah. I got. I got to get my car. I got to get off the zoom on on, on the sequel. Kind <laughs> of ironic that you actually filmed that on Zoom before all of these interviews and everything takes place on Zoom now. It's kind of ahead of its yeah. time. I was ahead of the time. My character was ahead of the time, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now for for this movie, Dawn, which is which is entirely different from from you know f fighting demons. What initially attracted uh, both of you to this film? I'll start with Jackie first. Well, I guess the script I just found to be so unique, and also just the idea of a female serial killer was just so interesting to me and very uh um different than some other movies i'd read and different than films i'd seen so i thought this seems really challenging and i'd love to take it on wow what about for you jared you know i mean to, it, it was uh for me you know I knew, you know, I was friends with the director and the DP and the producer. So, um, you know, it, it was kind of, it was kind of cool. It was kind of like, you know, we were all friends and, mm -hmm. and the project came up and, and, uh, you, you know, it's kind of like, I didn't really, I didn't have to audition, which was great. Cause I, you know, nobody likes to do that. Um, but, you know, I mean, I read the script. I was like, this is cool, you know? I mean, this is doable. And, and you know, I thought I could, uh, you know, uh, act uh, in it. And, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully it turned out well, you know? I haven't seen it, but... Yeah, we haven't seen it. Have you seen oh, it? I have seen it. I, I, have, I have seen it. I'm, I'm not going to reveal anything to you. No spoilers to you guys. <laughs> is, yeah, is we, have, good? <laughs> we have no idea how it turned out <laughs> yeah. not 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 gonna tell you two on how how it did turn out but yeah okay <laughs> fair enough fair enough so yeah. uh so, so jackie tell us about uh, getting into the headspace of dawn well, I always, I've played villains before, and I think what I always try to do is just go into what, what is the most relatable thing about this person, even if their point of view 
is extreme, like how do you connect with it? And I think that was one thing that I tried to do right off the bat was like, okay, what is her reasoning behind what she's doing? Because that's the only way I feel like you can play a character that's considered like a psychopath or a villain is if you really understand what their motivation is. So that's kind of how I like to like to work on these kind of characters. And for Don, is there ever a reason for a psychopaths and the serial killers? I don't. I personally, I you know, I don't understand what it'd be like to have that mindset. But I feel that when you're playing someone like that, you have to you have to try to understand their point of view, even if you don't agree with it. And that's that's the hard part because you always have to, you know, you can't judge your character because you're going to be like, well, I don't want to do this. You know, you have to commit fully to what their point of view is, even yeah. if it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta make, if, you, if you're acting a role and, and you think your character is crazy, that's, that's, you don't understand your character. You have to mm -hmm. study the character further to, to, to make the, cra the things that appear crazy make sense. Mm -hmm. Otherwise your performance will be nonsensical. So if it doesn't make sense to you, it's not gonna make sense to the audience. So Jackie did great character work and, and you know, make it, cause, cause you could play that character like, the, you know, like the like some wild you know crazy person and then it's not scary it's just like you know it, it's not it's less scary it's like playing comedy not straight like you it's not funny anymore uh you know what i mean if that if that makes sense well jared how about you getting in the headspace of the opposite of don you know playing <laughs> uh, oliver in in this case I mean, I just, you know, I approached it like a regular, just like, you know, I didn't want to, I, I didn't create a, any, you know, I didn't do deep characterization work. What the work I did was how can I be me in this extreme situation? How would I react, you know? Uh, and of course, you know, the character does some, you know, shady business stuff, which I can relate to because we're living in this, terrible capitalist society where everyone's just you know scrambling to make money and make money and, and my character is, is making money and so he's happy about that sure the, you know the ethics of the company he's working for might not be the best but i feel like a lot of successful people work for companies when, when you're working for a major company not everything is going to be perfect i mean you're going to be when you're employing thousands of people and 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 doing whatever my character was doing like i'm not the bad guy and i don't believe what that what i was doing i always took a job and i'm making money and they sent me off to do some you know kind of shady shit but i need to do that i need to make otherwise i starve otherwise i can't provide you know i'm trying to get married in the movie and and, and that costs money and and so it's not something I didn't do anything terribly wrong. So uh, it was that was that was my that was my character. I could have said, you know what, I'm a piece of shit and started crying and I can't believe I, I'm, I'm actually doing this thing. He called me out. But that would be false. I feel like that would have been false to the character. It, it would have made his position weak because if he just never thought about the things he were doing as bad and, and then he would be a dumbass. You know, you have to, when you're doing something that's not ethically, the, that you know is not ethically the best, you know that you're doing it. You still know what you're doing. You're hoping you're going to get away with it and no one's going to call you out on it and you're hoping you're not going get, to get in trouble. And I've been in that situation. You know, I think we all have to some extent. So I, I, was, I was just, I was playing that. Wow. Um, Jackie. How much how how much practice do you have with your uh, I want to say this uh, creepy uh, serial killer grin that you had uh, throughout the most uh, of this movie? <laughs> how much practice do I have with that? Uh, <laughs> well, you know what's interesting 
is that when you read a script and when you really start working on a character, certain behaviors do come out that maybe you didn't um, anticipate happening or it surprises you. And I think that's kind of the the cool thing about playing a villain or playing um, someone a bit more unhinged because these behaviors do seem to come out they surprise you and you're like well where did that come from because it's it's not someone that's really watching their public persona as much as another role you might play so I feel like there's more freedom with a villain with someone like that mm -hmm. because obviously this person's extreme and there's little glimpses of how crazy uh, again I don't like to say call someone crazy but you know, glimpses of what's really going on inside, inside her mind. Do you scare yourself sometimes or are you going to have to wait to see yourself on screen? <laughs> well, I go, you know what? I, I know I have, I've played other villains and I really enjoy it because again, it's not really like, oh, I'm going to, you know, attack this person in this scene. It's more like, what is, how do I feel, what do I feel passionately about and what would I do? What do I, like, obviously, you know, I don't understand what it's like to be a murderer, but I know what it's like to want to rescue animals or, you know, I know how it feels to have my heart broken. So it's like those kind of emotions can be used when you're tapping into something like this, it's like, what are you passionate about? What are you fighting for in life? And like, what makes you want to protect it or defend it or fight? And I think that that's kind of how you have to look at it. It's not right. something so literal. Most excellent. Now, I most, I want to say about a huge part of this movie, it all takes place in the, in the vehicle. So uh, for, for both of you, how was that experience, uh, you know, acting in, in that same vehicle for most of the production? I'll start with you, Jared. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, it's a little, cha I mean, it's a little challenging. It's not challenging. It's, you know, it's actually easy. It's just, you, you know, I like to open, you know, or, you know, it'd be nice if, 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 you know, the, it was a little bit more opened up, but I mean, that, that, that's the movie. The movie is about, you know, a guy trapped, the guy and a girl trapped in, you know, just in a car with a kind of a psycho driver. So, uh, I mean, it was easy in terms of, you know, we were just sitting in a car and, 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 and that, and maybe, maybe the constraint was good, uh, because you sort of have to limit your, you're doing like upper body at, you're not you're not like walking around and 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 you know doing all these things that that are hard shot you know like running or stunts and crazy stuff I mean a little bit of that but very little but I mean acting in a car is just yeah it's it, it physically easier but yeah I mean I you know the car wasn't moving so you know we did it was it was easy it, it, it was that that part i have done move i've done movies where i had to jump in a fr frozen lake and go down white water rapids with my hand tied and and race cars and be, be basically lit on fire so uh and this was a lot easier <laughs> what about you jackie I guess i feel a little bit differently about uh the car <laughs> because <laughs> It's not easy to fake drive. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the fake driving while you're acting when there's no, when you're not actually moving is not that easy. And, you know, maybe I should pretend that I was really driving the whole time for dramatic effect. But no, we, we were sitting, you know, we filmed this very stationary. So it's like, that was challenging. I think the director had to tell me like, Make sure you remember that you are driving the car <laughs> because it does, you forget when you're in, especially since the scenes where some of them, I had like 10 monologues in one scene. 
<laughs> so there was a lot to think about all at once. And we probably had a week to prepare prior to filming. And then we shot everything in like a week. So it was a lot. And it's tricky, you know, to juggle all these things at once. That is true. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of dialogue in, in this film. Or monologue yeah, but, in your case, yeah. And what? Or monologues in your case. Yeah, monologues. And luckily, I really like Jared. Jared and I have been friends for a long time. And Sarah is wonderful. So being in a car with them was really nice. Um, you know, it was fun. They're, <laughs> they're fun to be around. And we were singing during, like, during breaks. We were having a good time. Yeah, that was definitely fun. You know, it was fun. I love, you know, being on set and, you know, just working, being creative. It's, it's, it's a blessed job. It's a privilege. And, you know, I, I think I can speak for Jackie and, and as well and say, we're, you know, we're just all very grateful to be working, uh, making movies. So especially with friends, you know, it's it, yeah. people that you've worked with before and that you like and that are friends. That are, you know, uh, it helps make the it makes it a safer, creative, comfortable place where where as an actor, you know, you can sort of you know be a little more looser, which allows for you know more uh, dynamic acting. Wow. Now, um, this is, a, I want to say this is Nicholas's uh, first feature, full-length feature, uh, directorial debut. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, both, you both being veterans yourself, and I know Jared directed a few, few movies himself um, over the years. Uh, so how, how, how was uh, Nicholas' style in, in direction for being his first? Who should I? Uh, well, I thought he was amazing. He's very easygoing. He's very open to collaboration. And I, I worked with him on like what my vision of Dawn was. And I even, you know, styled the character with him and we worked together on that. So it was really cool. It was, it was great to have someone that's really supportive. And I think he's very artistic and very open-minded to you know, ideas you may have. Jared? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I think he, I think he did great. I mean, it's his directorial debut, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, uh, on a tight schedule, but yeah, I mean, he pulled it off. He had a vision uh, and, you know, I think, he did, I think he did. I have, you know, again, I haven't seen the movie yet, uh, but from what I did see, uh, you know, from the clips, uh it looked really great in the trailer so i'm you know i'm looking forward to seeing it um and uh yeah august 2nd i guess it will be when uh people can check it out most excellent well let, let me start wrapping things up because uh you know for for both of you who haven't seen the movie i i guess i could reveal that uh at least the possibility of a of a sequel in the first year for <laughs> chance for me to actually say but uh um but but in the case um for for you for you for you two so what what's the real lesson learned here it's not to get into a uh, stranger's cars or use apps <laughs> <laughs> i think just always be careful in any situation i'm always very apprehensive with uh with ubers and getting into cars with strangers but I think the, I, my interpretation of the movie was that a little bit deep. I don't know. I, I felt like when I read the script, I thought it was like something, something else the, that they were trying to say besides just it being like the, the Uber. I thought it was a cool vehicle to, vehicle literally and figuratively to use uh, at, to t send the, tell this, the message or uh, the theme of what they were trying to say, but yeah, I still like, I still always think it's much safer to take a, a Uber or Lyft than driving in certain cir circumstances. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't 
say not to use Uber <laughs> or Lyft or like uh, better than driving drunk. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> take, take, take the risk. Yeah. <laughs> Roll, roll the dice on that chance that you get us into a serial killer's car rather than driving. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I, I think so. I think that that that's a good takeaway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a terrific takeaway. Well, um, one more thing before I leave, uh, Jared, your baseball cap says "Tilt a Zombie Rig." Is that your business or what is that? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, so I'm, I'm glad you asked. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, Tilt Tilt is a company that makes film gear products. I uh, invented a product uh, called the Zombie Rig. That it's a, a a rig for sound guys, so you don't have to hold uh, you know a boom pole up your head. You keep your arms down, and it's motorized. And it, it'll be coming out. And you know, I've been working on it for working on this project for years. Uh, and it'll finally be coming out. We've been taking it around the world at different trade shows, and the response has been great. So I am just super excited, and that's why I'm wearing the uh, the zombie rig hat. Uh, and yeah, stay stay tuned for 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 this and uh, the development, uh, and hopefully it'll do really well on on, on film sets and and yeah. The zombie rig. Tilt, shout out Tilta. Cool. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Well, Jared, Jackie, hey, thank you very much for carrying this conversation. And I can't wait for both of you to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for your time and the interview. And I hope we didn't scare you too much. <laughs> you're you're fine. I, I, I can't I can't I can't wait for this movie to come out and maybe you both do the sequel to Pernicious. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I just want to go back to Thailand. Any, I'll take any. Yeah, let's get any let's, let's get hey. let's get James on the phone and and, and <laughs> pitch him, uh, pitch him I'll, a lot of permission too. I'll call me up. I'll, I'll bring some Thai uh, Thai sweets over to the set. Love it. <laughs> I, I love Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate so it. much. Have a great day. You too.